Alright guys, this is going to be a new series that I am doing. Every Sunday I'll upload a video. Usually it'll be, it'll have Minecraft in the background. We're going to call it the Minecraft story time. And I'm just going to be telling random stories from my life experience. Or, you know, something interesting that happens at work. Or something in my life that, that just... I find interesting and want to share with you guys. So that's what we're going to be doing with this series. And man, do I already have a good one lined up for you guys. So this one is from quite a few years back. I had a roommate. We were living together. And what ended up happening was... We would, he would work usually in the mornings. I was working at night, so we never saw each other coming or going. And he would always be playing World of Warcraft. So he'd be in his bedroom just, you know, doing his own thing, having a good time, I guess. And one day I had my cousin and my brother came over. Well, they decided to bring their laptops and they were all playing World of Warcraft at the same time. And as they were playing it in the room, I was sitting in the living room, just bored, said, what can I do to really troll these guys? So I waited, and they were in there for a few hours at the time. Well, I decided to, <laughs> I decided to grab my girlfriend's keychain, which happened to have some pepper spray on it. So I go into the bedroom, open up the door, and they're all just playing their game. And my cousin was laying on his stomach. Well, he was laying on the stomach closest to the door, unfortunately for him. And I decided to just grab the pepper spray real quick, sprayed him right on the butt, closed the bedroom door really quick, as quick as I could, to try to avoid as much of the pepper spray as I could. And... Sure enough, all you hear is coughing and gagging and these poor guys in the bedroom just suffering. <laughs> and all of a sudden that bedroom cleared out. It, it was like somebody ripped a nasty fart or something because that was just an absolutely empty bedroom. For the first time that I could remember, it was just an empty bedroom. Everyone was in the living room. And they were just, oh my god, dude, what the F, man? Holy shit, come on, why'd you do that? And I'm just dying the whole time. Like, I could not stop laughing at this. It was super terrible for them, but extremely funny for me. So, naturally, I enjoyed that. That was a good time for me. Uh, not so much for them. They were... They were a little upset. Understandably so. But that was that was a, a great story that I remember from my living experience then. So another story that happened right around the same time. Uh, I ended up having to travel to back to my parents' house real quick to get something over the weekend. And... I'm going through my hometown, and we decided to stop at Arby's, pick up some lunch. It's me and my brother. We're grabbing some lunch, having a good time, and we're driving down the road, heading back, and I see this family on the side of the road. Now, I feel absolutely awful about how this one ended up. I really do. You can believe me or not, but I truly feel awful about this one because we're driving through and there's this family and at the time Arby's had a dipping sauce called Bronco Berry sauce and I forget what it came with I think it was with the uh, onion petals or something I'm not I don't know it doesn't matter but I get this sauce and I I see these people and I'm like dude what? I told my brother move out of the way real quick so he does, He's like, he leans back in the chair, in the seat, and I'm like, dude, come on, move, move. So he does, and I throw, 
the sauce right over him, right outside the window. And all I hear is this little girl go, ah! And my eyes immediately got huge. I was like, oh, geez, I didn't hit the guy. I hit the little girl. And I look in the rearview mirror. Sure enough, little girl is bending over, crying. The dad is comforting her, staring at my car. And I'm just thinking, oh, geez, here we go. I just laid into some poor little girl who did nothing wrong, didn't deserve it at all. And my brother's just dying laughing in the car. I feel absolutely awful at this point. And so we get we get home. I'm, I'm just nervous. I'm like, great, there's going to be a cop or something that comes and gets me. I'm going to be arrested for this, assault, leaving the scene of a nap. Who knows? So I'm all sorts of nervous. I am just bugging out. And finally, my, uh, nothing happens. We're, we're just, we're waiting. I'm waiting. I'm like, come on, there's, there's going to be somebody that's going to be showing up at my door any minute now. I'm in deep, deep shit. Nothing. No one ever shows up, ever calls. So I'm like, well, all right, this is very odd. So I wait. Nothing, nothing. Week goes by and nothing. So I'm like, all right, I'm in the clear at this point. So I'm traveling back through there. And I get to the grocery store. You know, we had to, I wanted to stop and get, get something. I was with a couple friends. And we're going through and we're leaving. And it's a huge parking lot, a real big parking lot. I'm like, oh, well, they've got all sorts of uh, shopping carts just blowing through the parking lot. Well, I, I, there's one that's just eyeballing me. I'm like, yeah, I've got to. There, there's no, no dodge in this one. So I speed up, ram this shopping cart, absolutely destroy the thing. And I get to the stop sign and I'm like, shit, I lost my license plate. So I spin around, go back, grab the license plate, and I think all's fine. You know, no problems. You're not going to get in trouble for hitting a shopping cart. Nobody gives two flying farts about a shopping cart. Well, it turns out people do. Because I was then served with a ticket for leaving the scene of an accident. Now, here I am initially like, yeah, finally the little girl's dad caught up to me. He's pressing charges. Something along those lines. Yeah, it wasn't. I get to the police station. I'm talking to the officer. And he's like, yeah, you, you smashed into a shopping cart. The manager was outside and he, he jotted down your license plate number. I'm like, are you... So I didn't didn't fight with it. I'm like, all right, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll do this. The cop's like... Was there any damage to your car? So I, I told him no. There was. I mean, I, I think my headlamp actually busted out, but nobody actually cared about that. So I had it glued back in. Didn't pay any attention. The guys, the cops, any damage to your car? Told him no. And he goes, all right, well, you hit the, the shopping cart. The manager's not really pressing charges, but... He's filing a, com a com claim against your car insurance company. So I had to give the cop all my information about that. Ended up costing me 400 and some dollars. My insurance company charged me for a deposit or something. I forget what it was. But it ended up costing me about 400 bucks. And so I give the... Pay the insurance company, no problems, at least I believe there was no problems and they were really trying to get me for leaving the scene of an accident like some major offense like I was a freaking super felon or something and all I did was hit a damn shopping cart I mean that, I've seen some ridiculous things but that was just just awful I was like you've got to be kidding me 
A damn shopping cart is leaving the scene of an accident. Pegging some poor little girl on the side of the road. Nothing. That's, that's where we're at as a society. You know? I mean, and like I said, I felt so bad for that poor little girl. I, I legit felt awful the whole time. Right after it happened, I just felt so bad. But I went on with my life. I was like, I got to just man up. Whatever punishment comes my way. So now I am just waiting. Because there will be a day that I am walking into work or walking home from work, something. And somebody is going to peg me with a milkshake or a freaking hot coffee or something ridiculous. And I am just going to have to take it on the chin and admit that I deserve that. And I'm waiting for it. It'll happen. It will happen. Karma's gonna come back for me. Karma doesn't leave anyone alone. But folks, those are my two stories that we got in for today. I will be posting these videos every Sunday. So come back next Sunday. I'll have another story. Maybe a couple stories, something fun for y'all to get you through to the next week if you enjoy the series. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any advice for me, also thumbs up, comment, reply in the comments. I will be checking these daily. This is, I am new to this, so please bear with me if it doesn't sound right. I don't have a very good setup. But I am working on it. I am trying to get everything that I need to make this really, really work. Because this is such a fun hobby. I truly enjoy making videos for you all. Even if nobody's watching it, I enjoy making the videos anyways. But please leave a comment, share, like, you know, subscribe if you enjoy the content. And I will see you all next Sunday.